Resveratrol is not new, scientists have been studying its effects for many years. Resveratrol is known for its ability to protect plants from bacteria and fungi, while previous research has also found it helps prevent the negative effects of high-calorie diets and has anti-inflammatory and anti-cancer potential. As a cancer preventer, resveratrol is most effective in studies when it comes in direct contact with the cancer, such as skin cancer or gastrointestinal tumors. If you do drink, switching to red wine might be a healthier option than other forms of alcohol, but if you don't drink, resveratrol is not a reason to start. A novel group of drugs that target a gene linked to longevity could provide a way to turn back the clock on the diseases of aging. Resveratrol has also been reported to act as a sirtuin activator, and this property has been proposed to account for its anti-aging effects. Is it likely that drinking red wine, eating grapes or taking resveratrol in the form of supplements can slow down aging? While the news about red wine might sound great if you enjoy a glass of red wine with your evening meal, doctors are wary of encouraging anyone to drink alcohol because too much alcohol can have a host of harmful effects on your body. What makes antioxidants so interesting is their ability to prevent damage to body cells and prevent aging in many organ systems throughout the body, and particularly the brain and heart. Will a pill someday be able to prevent some of the most debilitating effects of aging, including cancer and diabetes? It is promising to think that accelerated aging, diabetes and cancer could one day be treated with this natural compound. As a drug, resveratrol may one day be used to treat fresh heart attacks and strokes, diabetes, as well as brain trauma. Resveratrol has been tested since 1994 against cancer, diabetes, heart disease and aging with extraordinary results. Resveratrol could virtually wipe out all existing medications for diabetes, cholesterol, heart attacks, strokes, cancer, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, or as Fortune magazine says in their upcoming report on this miracle molecule, hell, pretty much all age-related disease. In diabetes patients it has been discovered that resveratrol prevents cancerous pancreatic cells from reaching the body's energy cells or mitochondria, and destroying them. Defective cell cycle regulation may result in the propagation of mutations that contribute to the development of cancer. Resveratrol has been found to inhibit the proliferation of a variety of human cancer cell lines, including those from breast, prostate, stomach, colon, pancreatic, and thyroid cancers. The strongest evidence of anti-cancer action of resveratrol exists for the tumors it can come into direct contact with, such as skin and gastrointestinal tract tumors. It can prevent, slow or reverse coronary heart disease, cancer, high blood pressure and aging. In recent years, resveratrol was further demonstrated to be an anti-tumor and chemopreventive agent and found to affect cellular proliferation through its action on tumor initiation, promotion, and progression. The mechanisms of such anti-tumor effects of resveratrol were found to be related at least partly to the inhibition of the glioma-induced angiogenesis. To the best of our knowledge, this is the first report demonstrating the effects of resveratrol on the tumor growth and angiogenesis of gliomas. There are a few different types of food you can consume that are rich in substances that help fight heart disease and can even reduce its effects. Studies have shown that many people suffering from heart disease are deficient in magnesium. Eating foods rich in calcium and magnesium helps to relax the arteries, lower blood pressure and help regulate heartbeat. Fiber aids the heart by sweeping along the digestive tract and binding with cholesterol so that the cholesterol cannot be absorbed. Various studies have indicated that moderate amounts of all types of alcohol benefit your heart, not just alcohol found in red wine. Red wine in particular seems to have even more heart health benefits than other types of alcohol, according to a large Danish study from 2000. The study, known as the Copenhagen City Heart Study, found that those who drank red wine had about half the risk of dying of heart disease as those who didn't. NFI's Resveratrol Complete contains the powerful red wine antioxidant, resveratrol, called 